Hi, everyone. Welcome to Getting Started with Bellina Cloud. I'm David Tischler, a developer advocate at Bellina, and I'm going to walk you through what it takes to get your first device online in the Bellina Cloud dashboard. Let's get going. To get your device online is actually really easy. It's only four steps. Create an account, create a fleet, add your device, and then push your code. First, simply go to Bellina.io. If you already have an account, easy enough. Just click login at the top right. If you don't, not a problem. You can click on sign up and you'll just need to give yourself an email address and password. And you can see right away, it says your first 10 devices are free. So we're only gonna deploy on one Raspberry Pi today, not a problem. And after you are logged in, you'll come to the dashboard. There's not too much going on here yet, but we'll change that. Let's click on the blue Create Fleet button, and we'll start the process of making a fleet. Now, a fleet is a collection of your devices that are all running the exact same workload. So I said we're going to deploy to one Raspberry Pi today, but even if you did have five or ten, all of those Pis that make up that fleet would run the exact same containers. So you can go and put your devices out into the wild. And as long as they have connectivity, you can then push your containers onto the series of devices. That's your fleet. When you click on that button, you get a little pop-up. You just need to give your fleet a name, choose a default device type. I've selected a Pi 4 here because that's what I'm going to use today. But you can hit the drop down arrow and you can see that the NVIDIA Jetson series devices are in the list. The Google Coral is in the list. BeagleBones are in the list. Um, the Intel NUC is in there. A lot of customers use that. And you just hit the blue Create New Fleet button. It'll take just a moment to register and you'll come back to a summary page. Also, not too much going on here yet, but our next step is to add a device. So we'll click the blue Add Device button. When you do that, you get a little pop-up modal that'll allow you to um, change between OS versions. It'll give you the switch here for development or production images. In the case of prototyping, I'd say development is probably the way to go because SSH and console serial access to device will be available. The production image turns those off for security purposes. So when you go and put a device out into the wild, into the world, uh, you can't actually SSH to it. Um, you can also then choose Wi-Fi plus Ethernet or Ethernet only depending upon the local conditions of your network. At the bottom is the blue Download Bellina OS button. And when you click that, we'll generate an OS on the fly and it'll download to your laptop. You might be familiar with using something like Raspbian or in the NVIDIA case, the Jetpack distribution of Ubuntu that they provide. But in the IoT world, we actually want a slimmed down minimal OS to be running on the device. So we build our own OS it's based upon Yocto Linux, and it does nothing except run containers. That's the whole beauty of it. Its whole purpose is just to bring up enough Linux to run the engine, but the engine then runs the containers. Once the image has finished downloading, it's time to flash it. We'll use Etcher for that. If you already have Etcher, Fantastic. If not, you can go to Bellina.io and you can click on Etcher and come to the download page. You can download it for Mac, Windows, or Linux, get it installed, and on the left, click Select Image. We'll choose the image that we just downloaded a moment ago from Bellina OS. Flash it, take it back out of the laptop, and power up the device. It'll take two to three minutes, depending upon the speed of the device, to boot up and then check in with Bellina Cloud. 
once the device has registered itself, you can see it'll show up here. Mine was named Aged Rainfall. Yours might be named something a little different, but it'll check in and you'll see that the device is online. When I click on the device name, I'm brought to the details. I can see CPU, temperature, memory, and storage. I can see logs coming back off of the device. I can even open up a terminal and SSH session to the device as well. But it's not actually doing anything yet. It's just sitting there. So let's add a container. To do that, I'm going to use a little bit of tooling called the Bellina CLI. Also, like Etcher, available for Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending upon your preferred OS. And the CLI tooling will allow you to interact with the devices, get your application, your fleet, and your device info, build and push the containers, and also SSH to devices if need be. The installation instructions are here. I'll make a copy of the slides available, but you can also just Google the Bellina CLI and it'll come right up. Once it's installed, you can run Bellina space help and get a list of all the commands that are available. That's all in the documentation as well, but it's helpful to have available right in the CLI. And we'll need to begin crafting some containers. Now, if you already know how to write a Docker file and a Docker Compose, fantastic. You can get started right away. Start crafting those files and you can use the Bellina CLI to push right up to the device like we'll do in just a moment. But if you need a little bit of inspiration, we build a lot of sample projects as well. There's signage and kiosk, there's audio streaming, Bluetooth and other communication protocols. Um, there's LoRa projects to get started with as well. I'm going to go with what is probably the simplest of all, Bellina Idling, which is just an idle container. To do that, I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to grab the Bellina Idling repo. I'm going to, in my VM that has the Bellina CLI installed here, do a git clone on that repo. It'll take just a moment to download it. And now I've got a copy of that repo local and change directory down into the directory that was created for it. And there's a Docker file in there. To be fair, it's a very simple Docker file, but it's a Docker file nonetheless. And I'm going to run Bellina push demo fleet. That was the name that I gave to my fleet a couple steps back. What's going to happen is the contents of that Docker file and the other artifacts in the folder are going to get parsed and uploaded to the Bellina Cloud builders. The builders are going to churn through that recipe and then push the container out to the device. You can see here at the end of the build, I got a unicorn. That is your goal for the day, is get a unicorn. Once that container was built, the device realizes, ah, fantastic, I have a container available. Alina Cloud has orchestrated all of that, and the container will download onto the Pi. You can see here it's in the process of updating. Once the container has finished downloading, it'll start running. I can see that at the bottom left under status, it says running. And in the logs, I can see that it says idling. That's all this container is going to do. There's not much going on here, but it does prove that the process worked. We ran a build, the container was constructed and sent to the device. It worked, but that container is boring. So let's push an update. In this particular case, I'm gonna choose Bellina Sound. You can choose any of the other sample projects really, or you can even write your own as I said, but Bellina Sound is an audio streaming application. It allows you to hook the Pi up to a sound bar or speaker system and then stream audio over Bluetooth from your phone or laptop to the Pi and out of the speakers. The Docker file, well, the Docker Compose and multiple Docker files are already written. They're in GitHub. You can do the same thing as before. A Git clone on the repo, drop down into that directory once it's been created locally, and then do a Bellina push. Again, mine is called demo fleet. And now, these containers are going to get built in the cloud 
and pushed to the device. Similarly, at the end, I get a unicorn and I got two, four, six, eight containers built that are then going to get sent to the Pi. You can see here they're downloading. And at the end, perhaps I should have zoomed out on the screenshot a little bit, but I did end up with all eight containers running and the application is up and running. I can take my phone and I can start streaming my audio to the Pi. That's basically it. So with this pipeline in place, you can craft your Docker files, build your applications, and continue to push to the devices no matter where they are, so long as they have connectivity. This Pi happens to be on my desk, but it could be out in the world somewhere. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm using one at the moment, but I can continue to scale from the next Pi, the next Pi, or Jetson, or BeagleBone, or Google Coral, whatever the case may be, and build out a fleet all running the same application. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, by all means, just reach out. We're happy to help. Thanks. Bye.